Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the query selector all method in JavaScript. So basically this method allows you to find a list of elements within your page that match a specified CSS selector. So let's see how this thing actually works. Inside the body tag here, I'm going to create three divs with a class of box. So let's go inside here and say div.box and give some content such as box1 and do the same thing two more times, box2 and box3. So now, if I save this page in the browser, it looks like this. I'll refresh and we get that right there. Okay, so now I'm going to use the query selector all method to actually find all these three boxes. So inside the JavaScript down here, I'm going to make a new constant. I'm going to call this one boxes equal to document dot query selector all. Inside this here, um, sorry, inside this method, I'm going to pass in a CSS selector. In this case here, I'm going to say dot box and a dot means a class. So find all the elements with a class of box. Okay. Now, if I was to console.log boxes, okay, if I save this, refresh the browser, we get a node list, and that is the return value of the query selector all method. If I expand this, we get three div.boxes, and that's all those boxes right there. So, this method has given us um, an object of type node list, which is basically just an array. You can use it as an array. Okay. This means if I was to go um, go down here, I can actually loop through all these boxes and do something with them. For example, let's say boxes dot for each. Okay. Inside here, pass in a method. The first parameter will be the actual element. So we'll type out E for short. Okay. So for each for each of these box divs, I'm going to say E. So E refers to um, a single box. So E dot style dot color equals red. Okay. That right there is going to change the text color for each of these boxes that was found using the query selector method. So if I save this and refresh, we see all those boxes change to the color red. All right. So that's the basic use sheets. I want to actually show you how this method is actually part of the element prototype, which means that it's going to work on a single element as well, not just the document. So for example, if I was to um, go inside the body once again, we'll get rid of that stuff right there and instead make two unordered lists, okay? So make a UL right here and put a few list items. For example, item one and item two and item three and give the unordered list element an ID of something like list one, okay? If I save this, I'll just actually first copy and make two lists, okay, so list two. So now, if I save this, refresh the browser, we get obviously no list for the class of box and also those two lists right there, okay. So now, if I was to instead make this constant something like um, items and console.log items and make the CSS selector here, Instead, say li. Li without the actual dot means find all the HTML elements with the li tag, meaning all of these li's right there. Get rid of that actual for each loop. Okay, get rid of that right there. Okay, so now we're console.log the items. Okay, if I save this and refresh the page, we get a no list of six elements right there. So we can see that we've actually selected all the list items inside the document. We're calling document.querySelectorAll. 
I can actually change this and instead say list two dot query selector all. So let's do this right now. I'm going to define a new constant and call this one list two equal to document dot query selector. That'll give us a single element. I'm going to pass in hash list two. So get the first um, the first element with an ID of list two. Now I'm going to put this inside here. Now I'm calling this method on list two. If I save this, refresh the browser, this time we get three list items. Expand this, we get it on the list items inside list two, as we can see if I highlight over it. So just keep that in mind that you can actually call this method not only on the document, but also on elements themselves. And inside here, you can pass in anything. You can pass in classes.li, you can pass in IDs, you can do elements with a um, an attribute and an attribute value. You can pass in, uh, basically, I think it's uh, almost all, even all, the CSS selectors inside here. All right? And that's how you can use the query selector or method in the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.